Chess friends, as you know Alpha Zero is one and only a self-learning chess computer, whose ELO rating is 4000. Maybe it will become a powerful chess engine after its new version, anyway come to our video topic, Mittens who is my chess cat played against Alpha Zero. this game is very exciting and brilliant like my other contents, Alpha have black pieces against Mittens, so, let's start the game, my cat started with d4, I prefer you to play standard opening like d4, knight f6, and also c6, but alpha chooses to play b6, you shouldn't underestimate alpha 0, he wants his bishop on his way, maybe he want to do long castle, to attack white's king in king side by pushing the king side pawns, so, mittens responded with knight f3, bishop to b7, bishop comes to f4, knight comes to f6, in this position, best plan is to build the center structure by playing these kind of moves, d5, e4, queen here, knight behind the pawn structure, but mittens chooses to play e3, but the problem is that black gets light square center for the bishop, alpha played knight h5 to target the bishop, bishop to g5, we have h6. Targeting this, in this position, you can play h4 which is also available, if takes, then takes, the knight gets pinned to the rook, your next move is to play g4 to regain the knight, mittens backs his bishop, we have g5, strong move, you might think, dark square gets weak, but the bishop will sit on this roof to firing on this diagonal, knight will take it, then black have no dark square weaknesses, alpha will push the pawns to attack on white's king if he dare to castle short, bishop on g3, we have d6. Bishop on d3, e6 by alpha, he wants to play g5, takes, then push the pawns, cat played short castle, which is not good actually, you need little more developments, we have g4, knight back to d2, knight takes bishop by alpha, you shouldn't take it with h pawn because of h5 h4, then queen will arrive to deliver checkmate on h2, so, we have h takes g2, his plan is to play h5, queen here to target this, bishop to h6 to lasering the key pawn, knight d7, long castle, brings the rook on kingside to enjoy the open files. So, we have h5, queen slides on e1, bishop develops on h6, targeting this, queen can come there to join the battlefield, queen up to f2, threatening to mate in 1, so, queen to e7, we have e4, knight comes to c6, you shouldn't push your center pawn, let me show it what if d5, takes, takes, this guy targeting the knight, but there is atom bomb on e3 square, you are gonna lose the queen, so, in this position, cat played knight b3, we have long castle, he wants to play bishop g5, h4, takes takes takes, then push the pawn. To create a route for the queen to attack on h2 square, after moving the bishop to g5 or g3, so, in this position, my cat completes his development by playing knight c3, rook slides on f8, pushing the pawn to f5 is a long term idea, rook slides on e1, king goes to b8, we have a3, queen up to g5, knight back to d1, he wants to re-rotate his knight, c3, building queenside pawn chain, so, queen back to g7, we have c3, bishop to g5, h4 is coming, and white can't stop black from playing h4, queen slides on e2, we have h4, best is to take the pawn, but that won't solve the white problem, if it happen, then pawn takes, pawn takes, or queen takes, no matter what you will play, then rook here, queen here, bishop backs, the hg file will be super weak for white. So, back to the position, my cat here played pawn takes pawn, bishop takes h4, we have g3, I want you guys, pause the video, and try to find the brilliant move for alpha zero, go, 1, 2, 3, ok, if you find, pawn to f5, then congratulation, you are correct, the bishop and the pawn is hanging, if pawn takes pawn, then bishop sacrifice on g3, queen slides to h7, threatening this, so bishop here, the knight sacrifice on d4, targeting the bishop, knight takes knight is best move, then bishop takes bishop, queen can't take it. Because of this, king runs, takes, here, bishop here, which is a discover check, takes, here, 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 check, backs, and after some moves later we will get this position, where black is totally winning, because he have passed pawn and a rook for bishop, 
So, in this position, he takes the bishop, rook takes h4, alpha wants to push the g3 pawn, takes, queen takes, queen blocks, then boom, you will lose the bishop, so, queen here, rook goes to h8, rook up to f2, queen on h6, his plan is to play f4, then g3, pawn can't take it. Because of this, so, king runs away, believe me or not, you can't take the pawn, let me show the variation, queen takes rook, queen takes, rook takes, then rook takes, takes, here, I mean white have two extra pieces for a rook, white can manage this position, so, back to the position, we have f4, followed by e5, takes, takes, then g3 move will be devastating for you, so, a4, we have e5, bishop to b5, a6 by alpha, bishop backs knight here, alpha's trick is to play knight to f5, pawn can't take it, because it's pinned. Then push the pawn, if takes, knight takes check, and that's it, game will be over, we have d takes e5, pawn takes e5, a5 by white, b5 by black, bishop to f7, knight goes to f5, threatening this, knight back to d2, we have g3, targeting this and this, and you can't save the rook, if the rook moves way, then rook takes, where the queen will go. If queen to f3 happen, then rook check, if king here, then it will be mate, so, if queen back to g1, rook here, I mean your position is already bad, don't make it worst, so, in this position, pawn takes pawn is not possible, if it happen, then knight takes check, king here, rook check, takes, then it will be checkmate, so, in this position, we have knight to f3, blocking the diagonal for the bishop, targeting the rook, and knight, and try to protect this, pawn takes rook. In this position, the knight is hanging, the rook is hanging, and the black rook is hanging, but you can't take the rook or knight, because of this. So, we have knight takes f2, knight goes to e3 to give a sweet check, rook takes knight, pawn takes rook, targeting this, you can't save it, if you do, then queen to d6, targeting this, and the knight can't run because of this, the knight have no square to run, so, back to the position, we have knight takes rook, queen takes h4, you still cannot save your knight, because of this, and alpha will get a clear past pawn, so, we have queen g3, takes, queen takes queen, rook takes, h3, rook here, here, takes. And after some moves later, we have bishop exchange, there is mate in 15 moves, here, here, check, move your pawn, check, king here, and it's checkmate. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching, subscribe for more bye bye take care see you in my next video.